All right, guys, so this is it. I'm about to head to the water. It's about damn time. Wife's gone for work. I'm ready to go fishing. I got the kayak, got my lures, got my tackle bag, got the pole ready to go. I'm all rigged up. But I'm going to go like this. Slippers on my feet, some sweatpants, zip up, a thermal, a white t-shirt underneath. Because this ain't a fashion show and I ain't here to impress nobody. So I'm going to let the phone charge up the whole way down. This time ain't no dead phone. I'm making sure I get as much as I can on video. So y'all stay tuned. I know we got something good coming today. Alright guys, we're here at Mission Bay. I'm going to take you guys to my little spot that I found up underneath of a bridge. Hopefully we get on some uh, spotted bay bass and some sand bass. I caught my first sand bass the other day and I was pretty pretty let down that I didn't have my phone with me at a dive. So put the kayak in the water and head on out to our spot. It doesn't look like the water's moving too bad, but uh, the wind's always a factor as well whenever you're kayak fishing. I need to give me like an anchor system or something like that. I said sister, system or something like that on there. But yep, I'm gonna quit talking now. I'm gonna go put the kayak in the water and I'll see you guys out there in the water. In the water, and what I'm gonna do, that bridge right there, the second one where my finger's at, that's usually where I run back and forth through. The water looks like it's going that way. The wind's coming from that way. So what I do is I set up right about where I'm at and I let the wind and the current push me back. Now what I do with that, really don't want to drop my phone in the water. I usually use these as guides, but this current's not all that strong today. So I'm gonna just be floating. So I cast That's that opposite direction of the bridge, but I'm using this little guy today. And all I do is just cast it out, pop it off the bottom, and feel for the hits. So I'll be back whenever I get a bite. Wish me luck. Guys, plan has worked out. I was gonna record the fight, but there wasn't much of one anyway, so um, as soon as I get the little dude. Come on. Relax. First body of the day, first fish of the day for that matter. Uh, they're kind of feisty when you get them up. They don't, they know what's up. We didn't let, yep, there it is. I love catching these little guys. These guys look so awesome. And I've never been one in for saltwater fishing, but I mean, like, if this is where the bite's at, then so be it. I mean, I'm catching saltwater fish all day. So, first fish of the day won't be the last, so stay tuned, guys. I'm sure we got more. See you, little guy. <laughs> well, while I'm fishing here, I got a sea lion that's playing around me. It's the first time I'm seeing a sea lion that's actually, like, here in Mission Bay. I mean, I've seen them out in the ocean, you know, like ocean, ocean water, and Dana Wharf, but never here be my first one here I hope he stays away for a little bit honestly I don't I'm not trying to have my fish taken by a sea lion I'm gonna wait for him to breach again because he keeps coming back up he's just playing around over here I don't know what he's looking for but probably food maybe hoping that I hook up with a fish there he is right here literally right in front of my damn kayak holy crap i don't know if you guys heard him he, as soon as he surfaced he just blew air out of his nose never had one mess with me while i was kayaking but uh it's ought to be interesting i really hope he stays away when uh, i hook up with a fish but there he is he's over there at the surface around sea lions mission bay san diego all right guys went a while without a bite i was hoping to get one of these dudes for you all to see that is a sand bass it's a 
good size not too bad a little smaller than the one that I caught yesterday kind of disappointed but hey it's another fish he choked it so we're gonna get him off the hook really quick pop this out of space I got him good yep off in the water number two been a minute but uh hopefully the bite starts picking up here soon i went all the way down to the other bridge and just started floating back and i got him right up here under the original spot that i wanted to be at anyway so fish number two going for more we got plenty of sunlight left sun's going down actually it's gorgeous out here oh and by the way something i forgot to point out that is sea world I was trying to fish that earlier, uh, but that didn't really happen. I wasn't getting nothing over there, but let's head on back underneath this bridge, see if we can't get something else. Well guys, looks like the bite has definitely picked up a good bit. This guy hit super hard. Spotted bay bass number two. Fish number three for the day, and he is shredding my thumb to pieces. They got teeth and they're not that bad when they're actually still, but. Fish number three, spotted bay bass number two on the day. Not bad, we're gonna let him go and then take a look at the damages on the thumb. Ouch, that hurt. But, get back to it. We got another one. Another spotty, same area, sorry, camera down. My thumb's still hurting from that last guy, but here's another one. Looks like we got a storm rolling in here soon. We're out here catching spotted bay bass. Anyways, so before this storm actually moves in, definitely hoping the fish bite starts picking up. I'm gonna be hopping off the water here soon, but number four on the day. Pretty fish. I can't get over how pretty these fish are. Let's get back to it. trying to keep pressure on this guy I got a good one for the fan back home thinking I'm catching the same one over and over again this right here is gonna show you that I ain't I promise where is he at oh yeah this is a pretty sand bass good god he's fucking you Oh, come here, bud. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Hell yes. Relax, bud. Relax. This is a damn good sand bass right there. Good God. Choked it. Damn good sand bass. I'm going to get some pictures of this guy. This is my PB sand bass so far, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to get some pictures, and then I'm going to throw him back. I think the bite's definitely picking up. So, let's get some more. Something you don't see every day. Foul hooked a sand bass with a swim bait. Fish keep smacking my phone with their tail. Making it push a button. Oh, come on, guy. All right. Not as big as the first sand bass, but another good one on the day. Sand bass, Mission Bay. Doing all right. Let's let him go. See you, bud. Let's get it again. It's in the blink of an eye, the storm is moving in a lot faster than I wanted it to. But, right side, there's a fish in my kayak. I'm gonna try to get all the way over to the dock, get a picture of him, maybe get video of him really quick, let him go, and then get the hell up out of here. Let's get a little brutal. Alright guys, here's the dude that I caught before the storm come moving in. Had him down in the kayak, but there he is. Spotted bay bass in the day. Off the 
good. Whew. It's a good day overall. Got everything. Made it back safe and sound. Water got rough. Y'all can see that darkness over that away as compared to. Well, I guess maybe the camera lighting doesn't show it, but it's pretty clear over here. Matter of fact, you can see the moon, but over there it's it's stupid dark. So I'm glad I got off the water safe and sound. I'm sure my wife will be. It's been fun. A lot of time out there on the water. My nose is running. I'm cold. Caught a lot of fish. Well, not a lot of fish, but caught a good bit of fish. And a new PB sand bass. Yeah, sand bass. Almost said spotted bay bass. Sandbags. It's a good day, so get back out here another time. I'll catch y'all later.